All right, everybody on stream, can you hear us? I'm Gods, joining me is Winter, and I believe we should be taking over the cast now. Winter, how are you doing? Well, we just had lunch, so yeah. we couldn't complain about anything else now. Our tummies are, our tummies are full. We got to see some Dota 1 as well, which was a bit of a, a flashback to some of the, the great olden days, but uh, it's now onto the, the good old new stuff. We get some Dota 2. It's going to be Team Impervious up against Execration. Impervious, uh, mostly Singaporean team. Um, they're taking on yeah. the Filipino execration. Dire team have pick. Two, Singapore, two Singaporeans, uh, yep. two Filipino Radiant players, team and pick. one Malaysian player. So it's a, a big mix. Southeast Asian team. Yeah, Southeast Asian. Well, that it, it sums up what this tournament's about the GMPGL Southeast Asian finals. Taking on execration. The big name here, probably their captain, Kimo. He's a bit of a character. Many of you probably saw him on stage doing doing the introduction, the coin flip, and all that. So uh, he's going to be leading the execration team here up against Team Impervious. I think you can say he's the sing sing of the Philippines. Yes, he he's like sing sing like on crack though. Like you, you put sing sing on some serious messed up drugs, and then you get Kimo. That's that's how I see this. <laughs> uh, that <laughs> I'm not even sure if that's a good thing. It can be sometimes, <laughs> well, but yeah, we're gonna they have the first break clock. Well, this hero has been really, I would say, really popular as an off lane. Yeah, and Timber Soft, Cloudsoul and Timber Soft, they're both the hottest picks on our off lane because of the fact that they get levels so easy now. What? What? All good. All right. We're just getting some instructions. As uh, it won't be our video that you see, we're going to be just commentating over the video for the app for, from the uh, the mainstream here. So you guys are getting the video from them. You're getting the audio from us. It means I can I can tab out. I don't actually have to watch the game. You can you can commentate the game, Winter. Yeah, you actually get both of everything. I get to read the Twitch chat. <laughs> Hello, Twitch chat chat. How are you guys today? Did you all? I hope they all brought their cappers and Frank Z's with them, but. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I think, right. I think it'll be a really good uh, game for the for this match, and I believe that even though they have like I, three stand-ins in Perth, or three stand-ins, yeah. they they're still, still very good players. Yeah, I think they're still very, they will still be able to play really well with the stand-ins, provided they have the chemistry Ten with them. Remaining. I haven't seen them. I didn't see the first game they played. They were playing in the. In, yeah. in the cafe, you know? The impervious. I think they were versing first departure. Did you see who won the game, though? No, I, did, I didn't okay. see who won the game. Well, I, I don't know any more than you do, so. Dire team <laughs> we'll see. Maybe it's on the Mineski side. I'll see what I can actually find there. But um, looking at this draft Radiant here, Darkseid was actually picked bad. up by Execration. I'm surprised they don't go for something like the Timbersaw. Timbersaw, to me, seems like one of the really strong picks in the current version. But they opt for the, the, the Darkseid, which has kind of been like forgotten about. Yeah, Darkseid is... Has been really fallen off the radar. Every patch has a nerf to him. And if you take a, look, take a look at the recent patches, every patch is vacuum has a cooldown increase of Five four seconds. seconds. Yeah. But a lot of people think that even though if you put the cooldown of the vacuum to one minute, he will still be a really good hero because all of his spells are really w synergizing well with each other. So I think he will still be a good hero no matter how long the cooldown is on vacuum. Yeah. So as the standings look now, Titan already beat Jonet. Execration actually beat First Departure, so Execration already have a win to their name. Another win here, well, they're looking pretty good to advance Dire to the playoffs. I think the top two from each group advance to the playoffs, so important game. Yeah, and Crystal Maiden plus Corvok. I like these two pickups for Team Impervious. These two heroes are really, yep. really strong in the new patch, especially when Crystal Maiden, you pick, you get a Midas early on and yep. you just jungle from there, so it's really good. Yeah, no, no. Look, looking at uh, what, what they're going to be going Radiant. ahead with with these next couple of picks. Big shout out to everyone here at the event. Radiant <laughs> it's fun to be here in the Philippines. Are you having a good time? Yeah, yeah. the food is good. And if yeah, you notice, yeah. we are wearing we are actually wearing baron clothes. It's uh, traditional Filipino. Yeah. Filipino. I think they call it the suit or something. It's like the Ten the equivalent. It's like the equivalent of a Filipino suit. Like all yeah. the politicians wear them when they're doing their big speeches Five and stuff, so remaining. we're uh, baronged up, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, it's a, re a really good Reserve experience time. wearing this t-shirt, uh, like, yep. shows that we are a true Filipino as well. 
Yeah. <laughs> we do, and also to the people on, on the, the stream, I, unfortunately, I don't think the neck the neck wrap uh, can be removed currently. Well, uh, I'll, I'll see if it can be in between the get after this game, maybe. But for now, you're stuck with it. We do apologize. We're not in control of everything here, but we're going to do the best to cast this game, which is Extra Croatian pick up an OD as their third pick. Wow, that hero has not been picked up that much in the new patch because of how things are changed in the new patch, where you prefer to have a hero solo mid where he controls the game. Yep. And the support sort of farm have more space to farm up later with their miners. So OD is the hero that Ten takes away that space remaining. from the supports because he's always constantly standing in one lane, farming his items and levels. So I'm not sure how this hero would work out. With, oh, especially with the Nyx on the pull. Yeah, this is like a 6.78 type draft from Execration. The Darkseer, the OD, even Rubik. I mean, Rubik's still a good support, but nowhere near as strong as he used to be. I prefer Crystal Maiden, Naga, and... Yeah. The Timbersaur, or yeah. I mean, it just seems we'll see how it works because they, they already I, I, beat first Departure. I even departure. prefer Vino as a support yeah. over Rubik oh, because wow. of how Vino skills now in the meta and yep. it's so strong. And Rubik, I think the cooldown lift on the lift, which is increased by six seconds, hurt him very badly. Yeah, it definitely makes a, a big change. They go for a Chen to go with the Rubik though, so I think Chen's still a good hero, especially if you're not going to be up against like a bounty hunter or something annoying. So. We'll see if Impervious try and harass or annoy him. Wow, yeah, talk about Chen against a bounty hunter. You look what Alliance did to those Chen. Oh my god. Bulldog, they would just run the bounty hunter as sort of a position yeah. 3.5, maybe? Ten something like that. And Some teams run him as like a 5 position. I've seen bounty hunter with the least yeah. net worth on the team, but they're still winning. His, the, his job is just to follow the Chen, the enemy yeah. jungling hero, steal his XP, and they would have a secondary offlane hero. So it'll, it'll be something like a four-man four carry team and yeah. one support. You have your wind runner, or you're like a, a DK did it with like a lion in the off lane. You just have any any like support yeah. type here in the off lane. The bounty hunter will just farm with track yeah. later on. So, well, bounty hunter is still an option for impervious if they want to, but I feel like they're just going to want to put clockwork in the off lane. Yeah, uh, even clockwork plus they could do clockwork plus bounty hunter yeah. right now in the off lane and run Nyx assassin as a solo mid against the OD. That would work well. And Crystal Maiden supporting a carry on the safe lane. Venom. Well, we'll see how much impervious know about the new pads. They do go for the Venomancer. Yeah, Venomancer. It will be Nyx solo mid then. Well, at least it, or Nyx or oh, I guess clockwork, but Nyx probably the the better solo mid. They could even do like. Nyx, Vino mid? Nyx on the off lane yeah. with, with the CM or Vino, what works solo mid. But I guess you would want to put the Nyx against the OD because of how yeah. minor burn works against the OD. Yeah, well, Impervious definitely need a carry of some sort with their last pick. They don't have much pushing power, so they need a good late game hero. There's still an Alchemist in the pool. Yeah? There's Alchemist and Spectra. I think Spectra would do really well with their lineup because the Vino plus Spectra combination in the mid to late game fight is so strong with the Radiance and the Vino Five ultimate. Seconds I feel like even the Anti-Mage is still fantastic here. There's not much lockdown or wet. They can't really kill the Anti-Mage yeah. with this kind of a drought. Yeah, but the thing is Anti-Mage is really weak against OD later on because OD deals okay. kill damage and there's a Dark Seer in the pool. But yeah. I would prefer to have a Spectra as my carry in this situation. All right, well, we'll see the last couple bands coming out. Lifestealer gets taken out by Execration. They see the carry coming their way. Execration, they also need, it looks like they need a carry as well. So both teams essentially need a carry at this point. I have a hunch they will go for Alchemist because Ninja yeah. Boogie loves that hero. There's Alchemist. We've seen a lot of Mirana as well lately, which is also a possibility. I think in this scenario, oh crap, they banned out the Alchemist themselves. So Radiant what do they want? Pick. Um, uh, yeah, maybe the Spectre you talked about. There's a Spectre, there's a Mirana. Mirana sort of doesn't doesn't carry hard enough against the OD. Yeah, I would say. Well, we see the way Miranas have been playing lately with the Midas and just farming away. Maybe it's it's possible, but yeah, true. But Spectre would I think be a ideal solution towards the OD, and it yeah. kills the Rubik and Chen really quickly with the Radiance. Okay, well. Ninja what? boogies. Five so your so your your money is on uh, anti mage. I think anti mage. Oh. Carry Abaddon. Dire team. Why? Interesting. Abaddon is actually decent against Vino Monster. Your, the shield removes the buffs. Yeah. Okay. I think it could be a, a off lane Abaddon and safe lane Darks here or. I Wait. guess they don't need a true, like, Abaddon's not really a true carry, but you've got the OD. He's a good carry. Yeah, true. So, 
it's, it's really weird. I guess probably the OD will be mid lane and probably maybe yeah. they'll just farm up the Abaddon on the safe lane. I see Five Alliance do it remaining. and they'll just leave the Darkseer alone at top. I Ru Rubik and Chen supporting the Abaddon, but it's really weird. Time. Okay. Well, Impervious, they need to carry now. I don't think they were thinking about getting the Abaddon. They, <laughs> they're just probably thinking like, what the hell did they just pick? So do you pick Axe now to counter his ultimate? I think they need a carry. <laughs> But th I feel like even though OD does good against Antimates, there's nothing really to stop his split push. Like Antimates, like getting yeah, some kind of split push here. They can only kill the Antimates if they get a hex on OD. None of these five heroes are good at pushing out lanes, which I feel is like a big weakness with their draft. Like yeah. not being able to push out lanes makes it really hard to deal with yeah. any kind of a split push. So get an Antimate, even get like a Nature's Prophet or whatever it may be. Ten easy, 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 easy split pushing with Antimates. Yeah. Yeah. Antimates, you're right. Ninja Boogie, he likes his Antimates as well. So, we'll see. Yeah, to, in this point, it's really difficult for them to kill the anti mage because they picked the last hero without a stun. Yeah, they've got just the yeah, telekinesis, and that's it right now. Well, I guess vacuum, kind of, but... No, vacuum is like, meh. Yeah. <laughs> I feel execration, if they want to win this, it's going to have to go like 40, 50, 60 minutes. They'll have two hex on the Darkseer plus yeah. the OD. And they will have like, I don't know, maybe the Abaddon has an Abyssal Blade, maybe? Maybe, that's, that's a big hit. Oh, here comes the smoke. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. On Impervious, we'll see them heading down towards bottom, but... You still have time probably to introduce the players before Slash happens. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear that. I can hear them. We're, we're not actually following you guys on the stream and not following our camera, as you'll probably quickly realize. But uh, impervious, we are going to be seeing. Um, if I can read some of these names, ALTR on the this Crystal Bone. Maiden. Bone is the Crystal Maiden. Oh, Bone is the yeah. Crystal Maiden. El Smurf yeah. is on the Clockwork. Cell on the Venomancer. Konpaku is a uh, Draken on the Nyx Assassin, and then it's Ninja Boogie on the Anti Mage. And on the XCTN side, we have Kimo on the Abaddon. And we have Fox on the Darks here, Rara on the Chen, Rex, Dotto on the Obsid Outward De Devourer, and we have Tushi on the support Rubik. Well, oh, this clock, Clockwork's really playing with fire at the bottom lane, but... Yeah, he's so the far up the enemy begins. territory. I think he's gonna try and pull the creeps, maybe. Haste! Yeah, well, Antimage gets a haste room, gonna make his way back towards the top lane. It'll be Antimage versus Darks here. Is this actually gonna be a 1v1 lane? Oh, they're going to do an aggressive try lane. Nah, CM's heading top. Yeah. Maybe not. Jewel lane. Vino clockwork. Yeah, the Vino clockwork lane. I think we've seen this in the last game as well. Yeah. In one of the games as well, we saw a Vino plus clockwork lane. It's really annoying for, especially when you have a melee carry like an Abaddon. Oh, they're going to go on the oh. Rubik. Rubik's right. probably dead. The bat it's got a long cooldown battery assault, but this slow lasts so oh, long. Shield. Okay, Shield will save him. Well, oh. mate, will it save him? He, a he doesn't have a salve. Uh oh. He can tank. Suicide, suicide, suicide. Yay! Oh. Oh, well, that could have gone a lot worse for them. I, I think he made a really good decision running towards the Abaddon. Yeah. Gave him enough time to suicide. <laughs> he had to get the slow off him because that slow lasts so, so long. Yeah, 50% slow. 50%? Wow. For a good 15 seconds. So, yeah, going to the Abaddon allowed him to get that deny off. And well. if, you, if you look at the lanes right now, I think Darkseer will, will have quite a tough time against the Crystal Maiden and anti -Mage. Yeah, this is... CM is a good support to have against uh, the Darkseer, because he surges, you just frostbite him afterwards. Oh, she, she, she actually didn't skill frostbite at level 1. He got, yeah. he got his Nova. I guess he'll get the level 2 fairly quickly, but... Yeah. But if without the, the frostbite, I don't think he can zone out the Darkseer that effectively. Yeah. Well... We'll see how Ninja Boogie does here at the top lane. He's farming okay. He's actually not last hitting all too well. He's missed quite a few, it looks like. But not too big of a deal. Seems like he missed four creeps already. Probably because of the Iron Shell. Oh. Bottom lane, impervious. And they can't really do much to an Abaddon because the Aphotic Shield just gets rid of the Venomancer slow. Yeah, but, but at the same time, the Abaddon doesn't really have a good time farming. Yeah. But the CS charts, the CS chart actually shows a different thing. Abaddon has actually seven last hits now, and anti mage has eight. Yeah, I, I guess they're they're quite anti mage with a lot of denies, which I guess is coming from zoning out the top lane. So they're actually, gonna go on the dark here, first fight. Yeah, they maybe get this kill. It looks like, or well, you guys on the stream can't see. There we go. <laughs> now you get to see him. First blood goes to the anti mage. That was, a, that was a really good play by the CM. He was waiting for the dark to surge, then he yeah. casted his frostbite on him to cancel the surge. Oh. And then 
Nixas hasn't picked up the, the two minute rune at bottom, so in this rune, it's gonna help him a lot in the lane. He's apparently having a really bad time. He has yeah. six to three last hits. This is start. a tough matchup, though. Like, yeah, I feel like I you can't do much better I, than this. I think you have to start with a very fan, and you. Would, oh, they're going on the clockwork. Yeah, the central stun missed though, yeah, so they yeah. missed the central stun. Yeah, I. There's nothing they can do here. Clockwork, cogs, battery assault. He should buy his boots. I think he's going to be bringing out his boots now. Yeah. yeah. I was talking about the, the matchup between Nix and OD. Some players like to get a Wraith Band or a poor man shoot up on the Nix at the start. Okay. But I, I feel like even though if you get mana burn at the start, wow, that stun was... I'm not sure whether... <laughs> Don't worry, no, no one saw it. So. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure whether it's a good thing to skill mana burn at level 1 against the OD anymore after the nerf. Yeah. But I see Mushi play like... He solos and he gets... He just ignores the mana burn at the start. Or oh, bot lane. Yeah, bot lane, they're actually going to go in. As it does look like, well, Clockwork could be in trouble here. Give me another kill going out. I, I feel weird commentating it because I'm like, well, I'm commentating something that people can't see. <laughs> this time you guys will see the Venomancer going down. Yeah, he cast an Epotic Shield on the center. I need to ignore my screen and just watch, watch this. Yeah, it's really weird. You're watching that screen and... <laughs> I, need to, I need to just slap, slap the, uh, the tag along casters around me like, go to that lane, go to that lane. <laughs> Mid lane, mid lane, mid lane. No, we all missed it. <laughs> Winter saw it. I didn't see it. <laughs> no one else. Saw it. These guys, these guys need to work on their camera control. <laughs> Radiant's top tower is Ooh. under attack. Yeah, probably. Yeah, as a, me as a player, I'm a bit more aware. Of the yeah, yeah, yeah. Always watching the mini map. Well, this is a trip. Someone even sat. They will go in the bottom lane. This Abaddon just fights. He doesn't care. He takes no damage. Top tower the Gale does, it what, level 1 Gale does no damage, so... Basically, he took damage from a Sting... Level sting 1 Battery and Assault? And a level 1 Battery Assault. Nothing. There's no damage there. He's got Arcane Boots already, so he can just spam the, the Aphotic Shield as well if he wants to. Yeah, but the good good thing for Aquarius is they are trading an Anti-Mage Farm with an Abaddon Farm. Yeah. I would take that any day. Oh, yeah. I guess you have to look at the OD. It's OD, it's OD and the Abaddon, though. Like, I think that it's more like you're trading OD farm for anti-mage a bit, but... Yeah, but like you, like you said, anti-mage will always have the late game speed pushing advantage. Yeah. Well, and Nyx is still getting his levels. He may not be farming too well, but he's getting decent enough levels. He'll have the level 6 fairly soon, and then he can maybe think about ganking some of these other lanes. And not to mention, the OD is going to be extremely vulnerable. OD and Darkseid have really high intel. And yeah. as soon as uh, Nyx gets his mana burn level up, he's going to do a lot of damage to that. This Darkseid is being owned as well. He's got just a soaring recipe. Yeah, the lane is truly difficult. He needs to go jungle or something, he it feels like. There's a Chen. Yeah. Chen and Rubik, I feel, need to go for a smoke gank, maybe. Yeah. They need to look towards helping out these look, other lanes. Look lane. at the Darkseid. He's actually going to the enemy's jungle. Like yeah. That's, that's desperate. Yeah, desperation move. Well, the Rubik and Chen are more contented on sitting on their lane right now. They have no plans on rotating. They're getting okay farm. There will be a TP towards bottom lane, so... Impervious have got three heroes bottom. I uh, I guess they... Re I, at this point, it's three heroes against an Abaddon, though. I don't feel like Abaddon's right here to shut down. It's gonna be so difficult for them to kill him, especially yeah. when he hits level 6. He's almost level 6. It takes, like, another two creeps for him to get level 6. They're better off trying to gank middle lane, I feel like. Killing the OD is probably much more important for them. Yeah, they need to shut down the OD like you mentioned before he gets his quick side of ice. That's yeah. the only thing that can be so deadly towards the anti-mage. Well, OD gonna get a double damage rune up top. Not too much hap happening as a result, but Ninja Boogie still free farming away. He may just go, f he's going for like almost a naked battle fury here on anti-mage. Yeah, I think it's the... He, he may, Fo Fox is dead. He may, he may even try and kill him. He this is a kill. Search. He's no boots. He has no search as well. OD TP's in, but... It's all over. He searched, uh, he searched to the lane. And yeah, the and then he has no boots. Anti mage has boots. He doesn't. It was a level one search as well. So yeah. it was so bad. That was yeah, very poor decision coming out from the dark here. Well, looking at the bottom lane, I think they're still, they're gonna try and push the tower, but pushing against a Vino Mancer, not a really good idea. Yeah, this is. Looks like Vino, just the one point in boards for the time being, but yeah, but they can spam with the Rocket Flare plus the Crystal Nova, yeah. it's going to stop the push. And Chen only has one creep, he's just level 4, so... Not really much they can do here to try and get a kill, it looks like. Yeah, and the Dark has joined bottom as well. Yeah. Instead, Impervious is going to actually not defend bottom lane, they want to go for a gank on mid lane. Oh, they're going to get the OD probably. He's got a double damage rune, he needs to, he needs to Astral Summon, he gets the Astral, but he's already impaled. Easy kill onto Rex Dota, it looks like. Nothing to keep him alive. Uh, I think he could have survived if he dodged the impale. Yeah. 
Oh, Mima bottom. They kill off the clockwork, and now they maybe can get this out because no one's here to defend it. Yeah, they realized that Impervious ro rotated their room. Yeah, yeah, Vino Mansa and CM to be able to try and kill, uh, to kill the OD. So this is a good time for, for them to get the bottom tier 1 tower. Yeah, I think it's a good trade for Execration. Like, losing the OD, not good for them. He's their main carry, it feels yeah. like. But getting the tower this early yeah. is really nice. Yeah, support's actually made up for the, for the gank from the OD. It's yeah. really good movement by them. All right, well, Chen now going to hit level 5, so he can pick up another creep. Necro book. Oh. Necro book Chen is coming. They're going all in push. Abaddon's actually a really good hero for, like, Necro book push strats as well, I feel. Yeah, and not to mention, Kimo is the person that introduced the repel on OD to, to hit the Necro book yep. warriors. Well. Oh, the, he got the spike carapace oh on the my. ultimate. 29 HP. Where's a ro no rocket flare? Oh, it was that was so, so oh sick. Oh my god. Draken with the mad reflexes. It's, it's, it's not over yet though. Rex needs to be careful. Chemo, no ulti. He hasn't got borrowed time. This is actually a pro problem for him. He's going to go down to the anti -mage. One more right click from Ninja Book. He gets a double kill at mid lane. Oh, the rotation for the anti -mage. He's going to get That his is so perfect. He's going to get his battle free really soon now. He's just 300. And 300. he's even got boots. He, he didn't even like go naked. He went boots. <laughs> Okay. But at least he doesn't have treads. Yeah. That's still pretty quick. I like the treads on anti though. I feel if you're going to rotate, you want to go for, for treads, but... It makes you a lot durable with the strength treads, but it also gives you a lot of solo killing potential yeah. as a hero in your lane. Having your Battle Fury like one minute slower doesn't really matter very often. Yeah, if you get a kill because of the treads, it yeah. it's about the same thing. You, get, you, you even get more levels because you have the kill. Yeah. I think almost like none of the... like the top teams I see anymore really going for this boots. They almost always go dreads, but we'll see. It, right now it's working. When you get I, a nine minute Battle Fury. Actually, I think Sila has started to stop going pure Battle Fury rush. He always stops by to get his power treads before he gets his Battle yeah. Fury. I, I see almost like Sila burning. No one goes that greedy yeah. anymore. Even like, like I see like load, load a, a greedy carry play for Alliance. He'll still go treads on uh, Antimage as well. You have to be able to zone people out it seems, but when you get a nine minute Battle Fury, I guess it's they are, pretty nice. They are learning greed is not good after. Uh, yeah. yeah. The six point seven nine ways. <laughs> you get greedy with the supports, not the carry. So Abaddon gonna be going for the fast mech. So this is your safe lane farm. I guess they want to go for take down early towers. They need a mech. It's actually very common nowadays to have the safe lane hero. Yeah. Vipers we, have we been see, doing it. We see Vipers doing it a lot. Razor doing it a lot. It came from IG, yeah. IG and Tongfu. So yeah. I, th I think bottom it's sort of the same, same reasoning why the Abaddon is getting a mech now. They want to push and fight early and the OD will be getting a boss stuff into a Hex. And the, it's, the Chen is going to get an early Necro book as well. Dyer's yeah, that's where the Chen can go for the Necro book because the mech's on someone else. OD, we'll have to see what he goes for. Necro book, possible in OD as well maybe. Yeah, he hasn't get he hasn't get anything uh, gotten anything that resembles a four stuff yet. Yeah, he actually is just really poor. He's got his treads, but that's the only item he's got at the moment. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chen. Brought down. Yeah, they found him with the Nyx Assassin. They've still got Hookshot too now, so Clockwork could look for some more. Yeah, the OD died so many times. They ganked him three times. That's why he's yeah. so poor right now. And as a player, if you're on a hero like OD, you never want to get behind at the start because OD struggles to farm a lot. Yeah. Well, Execration going to start pushing here. anti -Mage is up near this top lane. Has his battle for you, but defending against these heroes, not here easy. Here comes the Nyx. Nyx is teleporting okay. into the clock Oh, they're going to get a kill, I think. Well, they get, need to go for the Rubik. Rubik actually stole Blink, so... That'll get him out of there. Oh, here comes the hot shot. There's another Blink. Blink out. He wanted to catch, but even if he caught the Abaddon, the Chen could always send him back. And yeah. he has borrow time, he's never going to die. Kill, they can't kill either of those. Maybe the Chen you can kill, but... Yeah, unless you get the Chen. Nemo mid lane. OD gets a kill the Crystal Maiden. Oh, he's gonna... He, he has a mana void. He has full... No, he's full mana, full he mana. He has full mana. Yeah, yeah. He should be fine here. Antimage can't really go in yeah, on that. When you, when you talk about the Exaceration heroes, they have Chen plus Abaddon. These yeah. two heroes and plus the OD, you can actually defend each other really well with your prison. Sandbag, your aphotic shield, yeah. and your Abaro time. It's actually pretty, you are, it's gonna be pretty hard to kill even one it of them. It reminds me of the o OD Shadow Demon. You just keep on banishing whoever they go and, on. And you the know, double banish. We, we were playing the other day against a Chinese team. They even have Breeze in the pool instead of the Rubik. They have yeah. Chen, Abaddon, and OD. Basically, you can't kill anybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, lift up on the Venomancer. They get an instead. Oh, this the next miss is in kill. Yeah, it should be a kill here. They need a bit more damage. He's gonna get off an ultimate, but. 
Not enough from Impervious. They're going to yeah, lose another. The Vino ultimate is not going to do anything against the Abaddon. Yeah. CM gets a kill on one Chen Creep, but I don't think Execration's here too much. Yeah. I don't They've got mech now. I don't think they'll be able to defend the tower though. Antimage has to split push. Yeah, okay. He's Antimage is at bottom lane, split pushing away. He just can't come to fights right now, I feel like. He can't kill anybody, basically. Yeah. Well, Execration are getting not just mid lane pressure, but also top lane, so. Oh, he misses the hook. Oh. And now Dax is on the run at mid. But meanwhile, Antimage is split pushing away at bottom lane. He's got no hook shot, so. Oh, oh. Can they get the cogs? Battery, cogs. Okay, they've got Rex. Yeah, Four deaths dead. now. He's definitely dead. No escape from the cogs. Yeah. Well, Execration need to get this top the tower. Chen didn't even bother to heal him. Buddy, you're so dead. Yeah. Once you're trapped in the cogs, there was no way out. Yeah. At least they got a trade off. Well, they may be just trading towers here, though. They're going to try and defend the mid tier one Yeah, tower. they definitely should. Here comes. Here comes Kimo. Oh, you don't want to be targeting the Abaddon first. No one wants to go the Abaddon. There's your Chen heal. Oh, it's actually Darkseid. He can't get off a vacuum. Darkseid kept alive. Kimo keeps him alive. Smurf's going to go down now, it looks like. Needs one more miscoil. Out of mana, though. Smurf. They might not be able to kill him. Okay. They turn it around. He has got borrowed time still, so... Oh, the Rubik is in trouble. Uh-oh. Antimage shows up as well now. There's a mana void. Not enough. Rocket Flare does enough. Lumic. Kimo has no ulti. Kimo is dead. Yeah. In goes the Antimage. Ninja Boogie. Oh, the wow. OD, the OD ultimate missed on the clockwork. Oh, not enough. Clockwork going to make a run for it. Antimage blinks out. OD is going to go down for a oh, look fifth at that time. Man burn. Look at that mana burn. That oh is so God. painful. Nyx Assassin will go down in the end, but... Antimage survived at the end of the day. That's Ant what Imperial is. Yeah. Antimage survived. Even Clockwork survived. I think Antimage got like one or two kills. So he actually had, I think, about one to two kills. He got, he got one of the kills, but he, he definitely like it helped ensure the other one. He bought something as well. I guess he's Yasha, maybe? Oh, no, he's going Vlad. He's going the, for the greediest possible build now. The I like the Vlad. Okay. It will save him a trip home because he'll get the lifesteal and... And it's also a possibility for a quick Roshan. Yeah. And when you're up against a lineup like Exaggeration, they have to push Dyer's to win the game. Having that attack. early Aegis means a lot for your team. Yeah. He doesn't really need the, the Manta style to get out of any, like, disable as well. Oh, mid lane, Chen. We're going to see Execration lose their Chen here. Clockwork goes down in return. Venomancer pops off the ultimate here, but Aphotic Shield just gets rid of all this poison damage. Yeah, and now they're chasing. Aphotic Shield gets rid of the Venom ultimate and the Gale. Yeah. The poison oh, they, still... They still want to go in on the OD. Ah, uh, Rex taking a lot of damage, but there's your shield and heal. Great wall. Vacuum to follow. Impervious going to lose two, it looks like. Make it three. They're down four now. Triple kill oh, for no. your OD. They should not have gone in at all. They had no point. The tower's down. Yeah. They couldn't defend the tower, and there was really no, no objective in defending anything there. They walked into the vacuum. They just walked right into it. Antimates gets the top tower. He almost goes down, in fact. The Rubik has blinked. He's got to think fast. Dyer's He's got to think hard about this one. Oh no, he doesn't have blink. He has frostbite. Frostbite. Okay. Antimage going to TP home. Yeah, he's really, he's safe. really, really farm right now. 15 minutes treads Vlad's battle fury, but OD now has a four star. Chen starting to get up the necro book, so he'll be looking to get his side of vice as soon as possible. Yeah. Unless they want to go like all in Necro Book push trap, but I think they just want to go late game with the side. I think if you get a side, you can still push, but it at least assures you if the game doesn't work out, the pushing doesn't work out, you can still fall back yeah. to farming because you have a hex. And but when it, they push, anti mage just comes and fights them, so they yeah. need a hex for you, him. But if you go Necro Book, it's like all in, like yeah. all your hands on something. <laughs> You've got no backup plan, and no, well, we're going to see a smoke from Impervious yeah. here. Not finding anyone just yet, though. The best way is to have multiple investments. Yeah. So you have a backup plan B all yeah. the time. <laughs> all right. Well, let's we'll see what the what the plan B is going to be for Impervious. Right now, plan A get Antimage farmed, and that plan has succeeded. So they may not even need a plan B. Oh, they're going to have clash head to head, five heroes against five well, heroes. Well, right up here. the ramp they go. Oh no! Here comes, the, here comes the clash. Kimo's in the front though. Oh, Intel catches that too. too. Oh, they need an OD ultimate. The OD sent the clip. Oh, vacuum only catches the anti mage. Anti mage ninja boogie on the run. He's gonna blink to the low ground, but he's forced out of the fight. Chen's gone down. Anti mage. 40 anti HP. Blink after Rubik kills him. He was going for a mana void. The mana void actually got cancelled, and now we're gonna see Cell go down. That was such. 
He was so. If he got the mana void off, he would have killed the Rubik. Probably not. The Rubik has a lot of key points as well. He he had like. It was four, close. Yeah, he was going to be really close. But yeah. I think he would have been on the beast of life. Well, impervious. Can they stop yeah. this Roshan from going they, down? They, gods, they ran up a ramp line and yeah. they for it. Uh oh, oh. Nyx Assassin lifted. They can just straight up kill him, Jack. Yeah. They could have chucked him up the ramp. Centaur Suns. Oh, Smurf, man. You're going to be so careful. There's what Centaur Stun. Oh, it's three. three. What a Centaur Stun coming out from Execration. They're going to lose the Crystal Maiden. They've lost three again. Antimage forced to blink out. He can't finish off Roshan. He wants Darks here. There's no mana void. Third. Neat's got to run. Yeah, he has to run. Oh, what, what are you doing, Fox? Here? Run! Don't fight! Astral. They can't do this. Go back to Roshan. Yeah, Go back to Roshan. Roshan. Yeah. Get this big fella here. Oh, they have, they, a, they have a lot of damage to get the Roshan yeah. down. They had to do this before the heroes respawn. They're going to get there in time. Or will they? Venomance on the no. high ground. You know the All right. No. Oh, no. OD gets it. It was a really good attempt by the Vino to try to deny the Aegis. That was two really bad fights in a row for Impervious though. The last two big team fights have both been won like convincing they by were, Execration. Were and they didn't have to take those risks. I feel yeah. they could have just turned on their advantage and farm and get a hit. Yep. Instead of getting in those fights. Well, we'll see the T2 Town now being focused down. It looks like Crystal Maiden lifted up in the air. Uh oh. You can't be missing those hooks at this stage in the game. CM now. Left on an island. There's no way out. It looks like CM. Oh, the gear the gear. Rubik, what are you doing, Rubik? You can't flick up there, Rubik. Rubik, no. Oh, that was just suicidal thoughts coming out from Rubik. I would have forgiven him if he was trying to kill something like an anti mage. Yeah, but killing a crystal maiden. Well, it looks like an integration. Uh, what a vacuum wall. wall. Catches out one more. They get the clockwork. They get the tower as well. Uh oh. Impervious are self destructing. Yeah. Execration. They beat First Departure and now they're going to be looking to beat another Southeast Asian team. This full Singaporean First Departure. Now they mix Singaporean, Malaysian, Pinoy, Impervious. Yeah, this is going to be a long and hard road for them. It was going to be a sort of relaxing game for Impervious, I feel, because of the good start anti match had. Yeah. And all they had to do was just to maintain their position. They didn't even have to fight. They just yeah, played safe. They could have just played safe, push out their lanes, get the get the anti match some time to get yeah. his Roshan up after the Vlads. That would have been game for them. He had the Vlads at 15 minutes. If he it farmed, was, he could have like a 20 minute Manta. Power trade, Vlads, Battle Fury at 15 minutes. He could have Manta by 20 minutes if he farmed. That was just a really bad team decision by yeah. Instead of Manta, he's got a, just the Blade of Alacrity. Well, he, there was one more item he could have had as well, the Aegis. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he would have loved the Aegis. I, and at this point, like, here is like Clockwork are just so squishy. You hook in, you die. You can't fight against... And you're not killing anyone because they've got Chen and they've got Abaddon. There's no one Impervious can actually kill. Yeah, and I think he'll probably be... Looking to get at least a four stop. At least if he hooks in, he can trap the Abaddon inside the clouds and just yeah. four stop out. Well, Necro Book Dota, Abaddon as well as Chen. Chen with Necro 3 and Boots. Chen has a Nick. You can call this a naked Necromonican. Yes. Boots He's got the naked, naked Necro. <laughs> oh my. What an item. Well, Chemo as well. He's almost got his Necro 3. More ta They're just going to lose tower after tower. The problem yeah. is with the Necrobooks is that Impervious have to fight. They can't just let towers go down. They can just run the Necrobooks at the Vino, Mix and the CM, and the Surfers wouldn't be able to do anything. Yeah. Tower denied. Oh, he almost got that. Yeah, creeps get it. So Antimage doesn't get the bonus call, but he gets closer to that Manta style. Have to see if they can find him in. You talked about Hex has to be the next time for OD. He's already got his Mystic Staff. The Hex I only like... Hope, I really hope he doesn't go with Shiva. Yeah. It should be Hex. I'd be surprised if it's not a Hex. Now, Shiva is also relatively okay with the Darkseer, but I still Darkseer think... Darkseer Necrobook. Oh, Darkseer has a Necrobook. He's not going Hex. He's going... Ne they just want to end this game. Anti-Mage. Anti-Mage is at a fantastic position to stop this. He's going to be just cutting yeah. off the creeps. They're behind. going top instead. Now, this is a good good decision by Accelerator. They can't push like, with the yep. Anti-Mage sitting behind. And none of their heroes can scare the Anti-Mage away because they can't kill him. Yeah. Oh, Korea. Oh, I don't think Ninja Boogie saw it. Yeah, I don't think he saw it. There's another Necrobook. Oh, that's the Daxis. Daxis, yeah, yeah. So they've got triple Necrobook. 
At this point, they say, hey, look, we can't kill the anti-mage, but we can just push his base. We can get Rexus. Look at Ninja Boogie. He's doing the right thing. He's going to the top lane, trying to split, trying to cut off it's the It's too late, though. They're already, in the, they're already in the high ground. Yeah, that Aegis. What are you diving for? Focus the tower. Focus tower. his Rexus. Priorities, Winter. Priorities. We have to have priorities. It's not our The tower have... melted. It went down so fast. Chen creeps, auras, Necrobook. They're going to lose Rexus. 22 minutes in. Rex is going down. Well, that's not good news. Impervious. Oh, oh no, the, the they've Vino, lost Vendo. They're the going to lose Smurf as well. Oh, three men stunned by the Nyx. Nyx is dead. He's been asked for up. He may not actually go from. They're going to kill off the CM instead. Now the Nyx is in trouble. Goes Vendetta. They've lost three though. They can swing mid if they want, want to. Yeah, they can go to mid right now, right away. And look at the Chen. The Chen even has an alpha move. Uh oh. Abaddon bought a Necro 3 from the enemy base as well. He upgraded his Necro Book. Bulldog the floor, baby. Yeah. That Dark Seed can almost get a Necro Book too as well. Antimage is just trapped. He's on an island. He can't do anything. He has buyback though. He can go in and fight. He's got to fight. They're going to lose double Raxity. This is a disaster. Impale only catches out one. They needed more than that. I, I think this is the end for Impervious. The Clockwork is out. They could probably try and fight here with the anti -mage. Walk in. They catch out three, but there's your Necrobooks. They're coming into play. Rax is going to go down. Back him onto three. There's your Aegis Big Pop. Odin going to come back up. CM freezing field. Not enough for Impervious. There was, there was such a good combination. The Rubik has Impel, and the Darkseer vacuum into the Rubik Impel. Yeah. So nicely played. Now he still the anti -mage blink. Well, it's stunned up. They're going to lose Rubik. That's a start for Impervious, but it's oh, such Rex. a small start. Didn't even get the ring. Necros. There's too many. Ne oh, they still got it the mini the Necros. Necros and the big Necros. Careful. Careful, Draken. Oh, they are killing themselves. Yeah, those blue Necros that aren't actually blue anymore. <laughs> Valve changed the color of the Necro books. It makes me sad. Makes well, it confusing. Abaddon now gets another aura. They now have a Vlad's on top. Vlad's, drums, hex. Chen builds it. This is actually a strategically planned game. Look yeah. at all their items. Everyone has one of like, a kind. They have the aura from the Vlads. The Chen just picked up his drums. They have Necro books. They have the Alpha Wolf aura as well. They have the Alpha Wolf aura, aura before they push up. What else do they need? They need a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> a Sorceress. Just kidding. That, a Sorceress is too big. They don't, nah. need, they don't need a pipe. Not again. Venomancer Ultimate's not doing anything this game. Yeah, the Abaddon is totally countering the Vino. I think all that's left is just to go straight down bottom lane. Impervious is just going to lo lose the game right now. Yeah. I don't think they can hold the Rexes. Yeah, I think that's got. Yeah, there's a pause coming out. I think Kimo's just saying, you guys enjoy your last two minutes in this game because there's not much left. <laughs> Impervious, they beat first departure. Now they're about to beat no, Impervious. I, I, I think what the pause is for is like Kimo is telling his teammates, we still have to win this game, guys. Stop laughing. OK, resumes the game. <laughs> yeah, he's probably joking around too much. <laughs> Oh, I love this guy. <laughs> well, right now, things are very, pretty serious in the booth for Execration, but this game, very little for Impervious. I don't know. I don't. Antimate is split pushing top lane, but he's got Manta style, so he's got to fight with this, but... I think he should just go... Who can he actually go on? He maybe goes on, like, the Chen or the Rubik, but... He has to go and try and kill the Darkseer first. He'll die to the Hex. That's the big problem here. Unless the Manta Illusions cause enough confusion, the Hex on the OD could ruin him. Yeah, yeah, heroes right now, they don't have a good front line for the anti mage Yeah. anti mage is basically the front line because the clock can't hack anything. Clockwork is food. They go the hex. They've used the Hex already. No, the oh, anti mage He gets focused down. That's they lose it. Nick's anti mage That's, That's GG. It. That's GG. There's nothing left. Impervious. Down and out. It started off well. GG. Thank you. The Darkseer. The Darkseer won both of the both of the last two fights alone. It may have a 28 second cooldown, but the yeah. hero. He was like, what I was saying, we can have a one minute cooldown on Darkseer's vacuum. Yeah. But he will still do one vacuum wall combination and win the fight. The crowd here love it. I gotta say, the Filipino team so far upsetting the foreigners, upsetting the, the, the Southeast Asian, the Singaporean teams. It'll be up to Titan though. Up to Titan, yeah. Titan's the last hope. They're over in Group A. They actually beat Jonet so far. So uh, I think they're in the same group as Maneski. So we may have a Titan versus Maneski game, hopefully later today. But as it stands, well, there we have it. It's going to be Execration taking a 2-0 win in their group. That, that puts them looking at this group stage again. They, their only match they have left is Dreams. If they beat Dreams, they 3-0 their group. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if 
dreams gets rolled over by them as well. They were they are playing so good so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now? Okay. Anyways, guys, we're going to take a quick break. I'm going to go on some guest panel, but uh, we'll be back soon with more action. Hopefully, some more Dota 2 games coming your way. Thanks, everybody.